So here's the PRV, pressure reducing valve. It's a three quarter inch. So we need to put a threaded male adapter by PEX in this end. And then this end is a uh, sweat by PEX or a copper solder joint by PEX. So we're gonna get this prepped in the shop here and then go install it. You don't wanna lose that O-ring right there. So we're just gonna clean this. Some flux paste. There's our adapter. Flux on there. Take our piece. Okay, now we'll let that cool for a bit. Wipe off all that flux. Check your solder joint. Looks good all the way around. Make sure the O-ring is still in there. Tighten that on. Pipe dope. I like to use Teflon tape as well on top of the pipe dope. Okay, now we're ready to install it with the PEX at each end. And then I'll show you how to adjust the pressure on this as well, whether you want to increase the pressure or decrease the pressure. These are normally to decrease the pressure in your house. The reason I'm putting this one in my house is because the water pressure is quite high. It's hard on the fixtures when the water pressure is that high. So just wears out washers and cartridges quicker, harder on uh, you know toilet fill valves, that kind of thing. So let's go get this installed. Now there's the pressure before, just over 90 PSI. Okay, so this can be installed uh, on the vertical or the horizontal. In this case, we're gonna be putting it on the vertical here. And here's the shutoff valve for the house. See, it says house water shutoff here. So we're just gonna turn that off. And then you wanna let the pressure off at a faucet because we're going to be cutting this and you don't want all that water pressure spraying out. Um, it won't be a lot, but there's going to be water in this pipe that's going to come out, okay? So we want to take a towel and put it in around that. You want to bleed that water pressure off. And then we're gonna mark our pipe. We're gonna come up about here. It's 
Same at the top. And we want to take our PEX cutters and we want to just cut that line slowly, let that water drip out. A bit of water is going to come out of there. That's okay. Take our ring, another one up here. Want a little bit of pipe showing. Place that in there. want to give that ring a squeeze the channel locks take our pex crimpers and crimp that ring same on the top And that's the nice thing about PEX is you can move this after you even crimp. So just give that a little spin there. There we go. And we can take this away now. Faucet's off. You can turn this on slowly. And then just check for leaks here and around here and up at your two joints here. Now we'll check the pressure now that it's installed. And there's the pressure after the PRVs has been installed. All you need to do to adjust it is back off this retaining nut here. If you want to increase the pressure, you would turn this bolt right here clockwise. If you want to decrease the pressure, you would turn this bolt counterclockwise. And then once you get it to the desired pressure, tighten the retaining nut back up again. These can be adjusted between 25 and 75 PSI, okay? You don't want to go above 75 PSI for household anyways. 50 is the recommended pressure for a house. That's why they come preset at 50 PSI. It says it all on this tag right here. All right, well that's how you install a PRV.